To connect your security system to the VideoLoft Cloud, you'd normally need a VideoLoft Cloud adapter, which is a bridging device that sits on the local network to the cameras and sends the footage to the cloud. But now you can download our virtual cloud adapter onto your own machine, eliminating the need for our hardware and meaning you can get up and running and connect your system to the VideoLoft Cloud within minutes. It's completely free to download. All you need is a VideoLoft Cloud plan. You'll need a machine that is connected to the same network as your security system. Initially, the virtual cloud adapter is only available on Linux, but you can also run it on a Windows machine using VMware. There's a list of hardware requirements and recommendations in the install guide, which we'll link to in the description. This is an Intel machine with Linux installed on it. To download the software, you just need to run a Linux script in terminal, shell, or command line. This will download the VideoLoft software via Docker. So just enter the script, which is in the install guide. Then you'll be prompted to enter the computer password. If Docker isn't installed already, you'll be asked if you'd like to install it. And it'll also ask you to confirm about disk space usage. You'll then be prompted to enter the SSD storage location path. If that directory doesn't already exist, it'll create it for you. And this is just where the video is stored if the connection goes down. And when the internet connection is restored, it automatically uploads any video saved there to the cloud. The VideoLoft software runs inside the Docker container, which only requires access to that local storage path when needed and otherwise has a small footprint on the system. Once the virtual cloud adapter software has been downloaded to your machine, you'll be given a cloud ID. This is used to connect your system to the VideoLoft Cloud, which you can do via our mobile app or website, and we'll link to tutorial videos showing this step in the description. It only takes two minutes, and then you can view your camera live feeds and record a video from anywhere.